Hey, Mark, fake banter for the intro. That's all I know how to do. Great. Good to be here. Welcome to Tuesdays with... Stories. Hit her in the face with a surfboard. And then the duck fell out of his bag. <laughs> Surf's up. And she didn't even flush. Knock, knock. Who's there? Mark Norman and Joe Liss. Yeah! This is Tuesdays with Stories, everybody. Yeah, no, that's terrible. This is supposed to be cheesy. My radio is spitting at me. Oh. Thank you. Hey, hey, comedy, huh? All right, we're really doing it. Okay, they, they kept saying it wasn't that full, but this is pretty good. No, everyone said, everyone yeah. encouraged us to kill ourselves, but there's people here. We'll still do that, but yeah, look at that. I don't even see an empty seat in the house. I, don't look in the back, they're over there. Well, it's dark. I see them dark up there. But we're not going to focus on the people who didn't show. What about these queefs who are out here, huh? Thanks yeah. for doing it. Thanks yeah. for coming. <laughs> and these, these people didn't come. There's an empty seat. How uh, about my, right. uh, my guidance counselor here, huh? <laughs> Jesus Christ. I did the Tonight Show last night. I haven't been home yet. I've been out on a bender. I'm all yeah. up. He relapsed. Oh, there's the gay wrestler guys. Oh! Oh, the brothers, the bushwhackers. Yes, yes. Good to see you guys. We're nice. at a point where I walked in and I was like, hey, Steph, I know all the fans by name. Yeah. It's a sad point in your career where you're like, Big Steve. Yeah. Philip. Well, you could probably just get, hey, Kyle. Rittenhouse? Oh. I wish. He kills. <laughs> <laughs> that, guy, uh, that guy was first class, if you ask me. Um, uh, yeah. Well, you know, if you take the kids out of school, they're going to shoot somewhere else. <laughs> Could be something. <laughs> well, people, uh, every time we do a live pod, everyone shits and says it's so different than the other pod. So I, I brought stories. I yes. Got, I'm, co- I'm bringing the heat. That's the name of the show. Yeah. I'm not, not going to tell them. I'm going to look at some shit up here. There well, you go. Do, do, do you want to know gonna... about the suit? Oh, please. Yeah. I got a whole tale about the suit. I believe that's a, like a dark purple. Yes. <laughs> that's an odd choice. Odd? What are you kidding? I'm like, I'm, I'm black. I'm like a black comic. <laughs> I wanted to bring a towel out and say the N-word, but they said, no, no, you can't. Oh. Now that would have gone viral. No, I think purple's, purple's not. It pops. They said color pops. And then everyone wears a, a blue suit, a gray suit, a black suit. I went purple. And Ian Lara was my inspiration. Well, he's black. Yeah. Yeah. He They're okayed cool. it. I just didn't peg you as a purple. I pegged you yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> I love to be pegged. Um, <laughs> he does. I've never been pegged. But don't you feel like, I, I do this bit on stage. I mean, I'm on stage right now. At the beginning of a relationship, you're like talking to your your wife, girlfriend, and you're like, who's that guy? Why are you talking to that guy? Would you like that guy? You you think he's cute? What's your deal? Yeah. Now we've been married 17 years. I'm like, will you fuck my best friend in front of me, please? (laughs) Do you suck my buddy's dick until I come? (laughs) Please, yeah. I know what you mean. It gives you something new to talk about, at least. What's, can't do the weather again. What's what's Bob's dick like? (laughs) And I always talk about it. It's purple. Is that what deep purple is? Ooh. Like a deep purple. Whoa. The head of your dick is purple and it's deep. It's and deep purple. Yeah, I like that. And then you wonder, what about Grimace? <laughs> He's purple. He's girthy. Girthy Grimace. GG. Alan. All right, so uh, you, you're, you're buying a purple suit. So I go, I'm doing the Tonight Show, which is exciting. You know, it's fun. And you got, it's fun to go get a new suit. Yeah, well, where do you go? Soul Train fashion, urban threads? Where do you go for that? FUBU. This is a FUBU. Oh, nice. Um, <laughs> for us, by us. That's right. So I went, I went to Bloomingdale's. I like to go to Bloomies. And normally I would go with my wife, but we got a baby, and you don't want to bring the baby to Bloomingdale's right. or honey, anywhere. Honey FUBU. Sorry, sorry. Wait, what is it again? Honey Fubu. Like Honey Boo Boo? Oh, I forgot about Honey Boo Boo. <laughs> I haven't thought about Honey Boo Boo in a long time. I think about her every day. 
This is the show. Hey, we're doing the show. This feels right. Uh, by the way, I really stand by. We talk about it every time. I think the live shows are the best show. <laughs> well, Birthdays was the worst days. Tell us some Reddit. champagne when we're thirsty. Yeah, Reddit would disagree. But keep going. So uh, I went to Bloomingdale's to get the suit. I went solo, and I walk in. I, I went to Ted Baker first. You know me. I like to Ted Baker it up. But sure. Baker's all their dozen. suits, they're checkery. So they moyer. You know moyer? Is that the guy who circumcises? <laughs> That's moyol. Moyol. What's a moiter? Moyer is when your a suit or a garment it, it moves oh, on TV. Like you know Moyer that? Adams. I don't know who that is either. Uh, uh, Mayor Adams. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Woo. You're gonna tear your pants stretching like that. All right. <laughs> you guys know Moyer? Moray. Moray. Oh, this guy's, he went to college. Well, that means there's someone in the business over there. What do you the do? Industry. Video. Video? Yeah, Moray, right? What was I saying? Moyer. Right. <laughs> Moray. Moyer. It's a Moray eel. <laughs> Anyways, Moray, less Ray. The right we're amount all, of ray. It, it fucking, it's when your suit gets all wonko on I TV. I see, I see. So they said, you can't have that, whatever. So then I went over to uh, some other section called, uh, I forget what it was, some other designer, and those suits are 2800 bucks a suit. Yikes. And I said, uh, no, thank you. This is, the Tonight Show pays 800 bucks or something. It's higher than that, but it's, it's not much. I think it's twelve. Yeah, I think it's 1200 And then which taxes. When you guys are uh, people that watch television sometimes... Does anyone watch The Tonight Show? No. Wow. <laughs> well, someone watched it. I mean, I got a couple of tweets. Yeah, all right. But whatever it is... Yeah, on YouTube, whatever. Well, they, they see it somewhere. You, you see it on YouTube. There you go. But anyways, the point is, I think... I've had this theory before. Comedians will go on late night and do all these jokes about being broke. Uh-huh. And I'm like, I don't think they work because... At least in the old days, people see you on TV in a suit. They right. think you're getting paid $5 million. Yes. So you see a comedian in The Tonight Show being like, boy, I got no money. And I'm like, but I think the audience is like, what do you mean you don't have money? You're on TV. It's a good point. But you don't make any money on TV. So they're <laughs> also right. Also true. Yeah. Any jizz. <laughs> I went down there. I walk over. I meet a lady. She was very nice. And I'm afraid to shit on her too much because she's very nice and she might hear this. Julianne Moore? No, no. Oh. She was mean. <laughs> she said, get the fuck away from me. I heard you have herpes. And I was like, well, <laughs> don't worry about it. No, so I went to buy the suit, and uh, the lady was very nice. And I, she's like, I see you see the, uh, the purple Paul Smith suit. And I said, uh -huh. yeah, it looks pretty nice. I heard it will pop on TV. And this lady, she really sunk her teeth into me. Uh. You could see she had like a, what do you call that? Uh, when you're a salesman, a uh, mark. She had a live one. A live one. Yes. She reeled me right in, and she, I said, I got to try on the suit, and I was wearing, you know, sweatpants and a fucking Arizona Wildcats t-shirt. Sure, sure. And she said, you can't try on a suit without a shirt. You got to get a dress shirt to uh -huh. try on the suit because it doesn't fit the same way. Uh -oh. I said, all right, we'll go grab a dress shirt. Thank you. She's she aggressive. Bring, she brings me a shirt. I put the shirt on. I try the suit on. She's like, it's perfect. You got to get this suit. I said, great. And I thought it looked fine. I was like, I'm in a suit. It looks like a suit. She brings the tailor in, so she's got a second guy. Oh, a boy. second person comes in, and he's like, Ooh, let me take a look, and she's touching my dick <laughs> and moving the thing, and he's pulling, he's got the pins. Oh, and the you chalk. got it altered. Yeah, a tailor. Ah. <laughs> the tool man Taylor. <laughs> yeah. So he's reaching, and he's like, you got a pinch. It's and I'm like, I think it looks pretty good. Yeah, but he's it looks like, great. He's looking at the back. Well, now it's been tailored, but he's looking at the back, and he's like, you, the back, and then they show you in the mirror. He's like, look at this back, and I'm like, I think it's a pretty good back. Great back. I've jizzed on that. He's like, <laughs> he's like, it's a terrible back. You gotta, so he's putting the pins and the chalk and the business and... Oh, yeah, the chalk. Whatever. And then I, I go, okay, well, tailor it up. Let's go. Taylor I gotta, Swift. I got to have it by Monday, 3 yeah. p.m. And he's like, no, no, no chance. I can't do it. Uh, Asian guy. So I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't do. <laughs> <laughs> He's a terror. <laughs> that took a second, you fucks. It really did. 
So he's going, no, no, I can't do it. And I'm like, okay, then I start taking the suit off. I'm like, I got to go somewhere else. And the lady is like in the mirror, like doing that, like, don't worry about it. What does that mean? I don't know. I'm like, well, he's saying, I can't. It's like Ace Ventura. He's like, your wife just said she expects home any minute. Like, I'm like, he just said I can't do it. And right. she's like, he can do it. Oh, this lady's bad news. And the guy's like, I can't do it. I can have it Monday night, maybe. And I'm like, well, I need it Monday, 3 p.m. And she's like, you'll get it by Monday, 3 p.m. And he's like, I won't. She, w- <laughs> <laughs> she wants the sale. Yeah, she wants the sale. And I'm like, lady, I, I'm not going to buy a fucking $1,000 suit yeah. if I can't wear the fucking thing. So then I go, all right. She's like, don't worry. So the tailor leaves, and she's like, it's totally fine. We can get it. I, she goes, we can do express tailoring. Mm. I said, well, mark me down for express. And then he, like, pops his head back in. He's like, that'll get it by 4 p.m. Monday. <laughs> And she's just does, she does this to him. So I'm like, what the fuck is going on here? Wow. So the express tailoring is $25. Yeah. I go, no problem. I go, I'll pay whatever. I need the suit. So she goes, okay, you'll pay whatever. Oh. So now she's got me. I'm hooked, Jerry. This is a grift. It's a total grift. So I go, okay, so yeah, I'll just, I'll pay. What, how does it work? And she's like, well, he could probably bump you up if you're willing to offer her money. Well, what is this, a kidney? <laughs> I go... <laughs> I go, yeah, well, I, what are we talking? I, I can give him money. She goes, let me go talk to him. Oh, come on. They're in cahoots. The whole time I'm in the suit, it's like baggy. I look like the Tom Hanks character at the end of Big when he goes back to small. Oh, yeah, yeah. And, By uh, the way, fuck that lady when he was like 14. Oh, absolutely. And, yeah. Uh, she must have felt weird. Yeah. So I'm swimming in the suit. I think it looks good. They think it looks bad. So she leaves. She comes back and she goes, okay, yeah. If you give him some money. And I go, well, I got four bucks on me. I got to go to an ATM. And she goes, he said there's one on 58th Street. Oh! I swear to God. Oh, man. So they're over there. They know what's going on. So I go to the ATM, take out 80 bucks. Ah! I, I come back, and I felt like Albert Brooks. I was like, listen, I've never done this. Is this, what do, how do I do it? And she's yeah. like, well, just give me the money. I'll give it to him. Okay. And I'm like, I got 60 bucks. Does that work? She's like, that's perfect. Perfect. And I'm like, well, is that too much? And she's exactly. like, that's good. Oh, man. So I give her 60 bucks. She goes back to him. She comes back. She goes, I'll be ready at noon tomorrow. Oh, man. So they bumped it up three days for 60 bucks. You got rooked. I bet that guy didn't even have an accent. They were totally fucking... <laughs> they totally... He painted his skin all brown. Yeah. He wasn't white. Ah. He was brown. Yeah, oh, fuck. I blew it. <laughs> so... They go, okay, I'll be ready tomorrow at noon. I go, okay, terrific. And then she keeps going, by the way, I can do personal shopping. Your wife has a baby. Tell me her size. I'll go shopping for you. And I'm like, this is, I, I, what, what am I, fucking Jeff Bezos? I can't afford right. a personal shopper. So she goes, give me your number. Give me your cell. And I go, I, well, I'll, I'll text you later. She goes, this is my cell. Jesus. She goes, text me so I have your number, which is psychotic. Is that crazy? It's wacky. I think these are gypsies. <laughs> Something's up. So then the next day, I come back at noon, all ready to go, straight from the gym, sweating, rock hard. I go, I'm ready to pick my suit up. Yeah. And she goes, oh, that's not ready today. It's not ready at noon. What? What happened to the greasing? I, I said, I grease. I got grease everywhere. Grease is the word. So she goes, he doesn't even get in till noon. Oh. And I was like, you said noon. And she goes, it'll be ready at four. So I'm like, well, I can't come. I'll have to come tomorrow. So now I got to go three days in a row. I go, I come back Sunday, I get the thing, she rings up the suit and the shirt, I try it on, fits great, hands me the receipt, the shirt, this shirt, the one that she's like, you gotta get the shirt now that you've tried it on. Right. $270 Whoa! this shirt. Oh, that's what my, my old suit cost that. I mean, is that fucking wild? That's outrageous. She could have grabbed me a Sears shirt. Yeah, those are $23.99, I've stole them. $270. <laughs> White shirt. Wow, you got rooked. She thought you were some rube from Indiana. I was hoping this would get a big laugh, but you guys are just like, you got fucked over. That's horrible. I know. Ah. I'm wearing a $270 shirt. Well, what's the suit go for? This is a thousand. Ah, this, sh- is, this, is, this shirt is 25% of the suit. Yes. That's why I'm wearing it. T- I'm not taking it off till Christmas. <laughs> what is this place so we can all throw a Molotov cocktail to the window? It's Bloomingdale's. I go to Bloomingdale's, ah! baby. I thought you went to some shouty operation uh, in the garment district and some 
fucking shiesty Jew got you? No, this is, this is Blooms. Blooms! And, and then yesterday, it's the big taping, and uh, I get a, hello, Mr. List, good luck. And I'm like, I send it to the guy that books The Tonight Show. I'm like, is this your people? And he's like, that's not one of us. And I go, who the fuck is texting me? They're like, good luck on The Tonight Show. I have no idea. It's the woman. Oh, I never man. gave her my number. She looked it up in the system. I mark my words. She gives hand jobs. <laughs> well... She texted me today, she wrote, great job, the suit looks good, with a link to the set, as though I wasn't, <laughs> like, she's like, here it is, here's a video of the set. I'm like, fuck it, I know, I was there. I gotta say, she, she's more invested in your life than your wife. Oh, absolutely. Sarah doesn't even know I was on The Tonight Show. She hasn't seen me, I've been home. I've been out fucking women all night. Wow, this is crazy. Yeah, so anyways, I'm wearing a uh, $1,300 outfit. She fucked me on the shirt. Yeah, she did. And, uh... Bloomingdale, I, there's a, the tailors are, are, are shifty. I had a guy, everybody goes, you gotta go to Hong Kong Taylor. Hong Kong Taylor, he's some Holy crazy Holy Korean Holy guy Holy. in the village. <laughs> not, a, not a fake name, Google it, Hong Kong Taylor, it's on like 8th Street right off 6th Avenue. So I go, all right, I got a nice suit my dad gave me, it's too big, he's fat, I'm gonna go in there, I'm gonna get it all fitted. Uh -huh. And this guy, I mean, he was like a ninja. He, I mean, you know, he was... Uh, I believe they all are. <laughs> yeah. Ninja, please. But um, he was, he put on some music, and it was like, bamboo pipe and all that, and uh -huh. a pan flute, and he had like a little, uh, what do you call that, the, the splashy rock thing with the, with the water. What about the cat with the hands? Oh, the cat was in there doing the white power. Yeah, yeah. And... Uh, Cat power. It, yeah, yeah, good band. But it was all Asian-y, and he got down, and he had a, a robe on, and those, those uh, wooden shoes that have just two, two blocks on the bottom, you know? <laughs> I swear to God, he had a ponytail, and he used a samurai to cut it up. And uh, he was marking me up with all the chalk all day long. He was putting pins in me, and he, would, he went poof and popped a smoke bomb, and he, he was gone. And uh, I'm just like, I'm just hearing cash rate, cha-ching, cha-ching, like how much is this gonna cost? Cha-ching, cha-ching, I don't think you can say that. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> this is a family show. Uh, well, there goes SNL. But um, <laughs> I'll get it in five years. But uh, $100 bet? <laughs> so, so yeah, he, uh, he goes, it's gonna run about 300 bucks. And we, he's been in there for like 45 minutes, just, just chalking me up. And I go, oh yeah, yeah. I gotta take a phone call. I had my jeans and, and coats and shirt in there because I'm wearing the suit now. I took a phone call and I ran home. <laughs> so watch out for that guy. He's out there, I hope he never hears this because he's, he's got a, a, a picture of me with a knife in it in the wall. But it feels like you robbed him. You stole the suit. Well, it was my suit. Oh, I went a tailor. in yeah, all right, with my I'm dad's sorry. suit. I thought, I forgot it was the dad's suit. <laughs> he didn't give me a suit. I thought you, you were in my situation, then you just ran out of Bloomingdale's. But no, Bloomingdale's. no, this is Hong Kong's, and he, he got my jeans. I mean, I knew it was Hong Kong's, but I thought uh, he made the suit for you. No. And then while he was fixing it, you took off. No, he wouldn't make me a suit. I got you. All right. <laughs> I got confused. I get confused myself sometimes. Yeah, it was bad. It was like an episode of Squid Game. But I got out. <laughs> well, suits are, uh, it's tricky business out there. Yeah, lawsuit. <laughs> Suit yourself. We got a hot show tonight. <laughs> and uh, we got some big guests. It's gonna yeah, be we got some guests out here? What? Oh, they're over there, I think. Oh, yeah, they're there. Oh, they're, big they're, time. They're angry. They're waiting. Legendary guests. And oh, yeah. another guy, too. Yes. We got the guy who lit himself on fire for Palace. No, uh, we got. Uh, well, we should start with the the nobody first. Absolutely. Yeah, and then we'll work our way up. Yeah, you know, sometimes they say this man needs no introduction. This man needs a lot of introduction. Yes, yes. Lots and lots of it. Well, he's a, a comedian. Yeah, out of out of Texas, Houston to be exact. Uh -huh. he, uh, owns his own comedy club. He's got a YouTube special coming out sometime in the future. Soon. Yes. I and assume you all do. They're pretty common now. 
Uh, but yeah, uh, put your hands together for Andrew Youngblood. Hey! You've heard him uh, mentioned on the pod. Hey. Oh, there you go. They're on the chair. It's on the chair. I got no What's greeting. What's up, guys? All right. No one gives us instructions. So there's mics in the back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just come out and grab a seat. Maybe there I should go. go on the end there. Is it Why weird is we just put a ran? I guess, should I sit here? Well, you <laughs> got no arm there, though. I got no arm, but Seems I feel we were putting a, it feels like an intervention. We put the uh, guy right in the middle. <laughs> sit here, then. You well, then is, is it too close to you? What does that mean? Wow. <laughs> a lot of planning has gone into this show. All right, you're right. We're not right. big planners. No, planner I got, fitness. I got planner fasciitis. There you go. <laughs> All right, and uh, next up, uh, you all know him. You've seen him on HBO, Comedy Central, Netflix, Sirius Radio. Put your hands together for Jim Norton, everybody. Oh, oh my God. God. Yeah. How the yeah. hell did he get in? Wherever you want. Oh, okay. We got one more. We got all the guests. Oh. They're all here. And uh, another, another comedy legend. I've known this guy for... Fucking 75 years. He officiated my wedding. You know him. You love him. Robert Kelly is hey, here, everybody. There he is. Yeah. Right in the middle, baby. Yeah. Unless on. you want arms. Do you want arms? Are you okay with no arms? No, I'm good. I, you guys, they didn't know I was here. So when they said that thing, the fucking worst to the best, and you brought me up last, you know you wanted Norton last. No. You looked at me and went, oh, shit, he's here too. Fuck. There's, oh. This is, nor this is no hierarchy. Seat. We're all zeros. Yes. <laughs> yeah. You're good. We went by size. What's up? <laughs> um, that, <laughs> that hurts. Uh, you look great, though. You look great. Hey, thank you. How about him? The Bible salesman here. Sure. <laughs> yeah. I like it. I think it looks good. That suits you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That, that works. Bob, Count guess it. how much this shirt cost? Three fifty-nine. Two seventy. You fucked me. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the worst? Yeah, You're like, guess good. how fat this girl was. I don't know, one eighty. You're like, she was two ten. You fucked me. <laughs> I guess I did it reverse, but you guys still gotta laugh. Whatever. Well, th every time we come on, we do a live pod. We all just want to zing and zang and have a nice time. And we lose the essence of the show, which is story. Yes. <laughs> Atta boy, Joe. Yes. Is that what, that what, you, that's what you heard? And we never asked the guests to Brit tell a story. So we, I told Andrew ahead of time, Andrew's a fucking crazy gambling party not, fucking nut. I'm, yeah. a, I'm a regular person. That's no. all. A, come on, I got kids. Yeah, <laughs> shit. Well, wow. they don't listen to this. They don't, they don't figure it out. So you does kids, Bill Cosby. Plural? Oh, I got two. You didn't know that. I've known you for... Fucking eight years now. <laughs> I thought you had one kid. No, I got uh, I got a six-year-old Mexican and then I got a fourteen-year-old white. Nice. So, that's, white. White. Yeah, white. Yeah. 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 Just no, I kinda, I'm a more of a fan of the Mexican. He's the better. Did you adopt the Mexican? No, no, no. Just uh, came in a Mexican. That's it. That's uh, <laughs> is that you, easy? You want to fuck Mexican? the ones I fuck? Huh? They never get pregnant. <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, unless they spit it into a vagina. <laughs> I didn't, all right. Are there Mexican trans? Oh, yeah. Are I there? Mean, no. I mean, who knows? What a cute, naive question. Yes. <laughs> I never see them. They're, they're just too busy working. Uh, reasonably priced, fully functional. Yeah. Really? Oh, yeah. Wow. Usually I'm circumcised. <laughs> yep. Un uh, unclipped, little, we say in the biz. It's uh, <laughs> a real tamale. In the union. <laughs> You've never been with a trans girl? Uh, I have, actually, on accident. Oh, yeah, I heard of it. Oh, yeah, yeah me too. <laughs> accident. <laughs> yeah. Jim married one by accident. I'm like, yeah, this is the 5,000th time I've made this mistake. <laughs> uh. Actually, I said, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> You ever? Huh? You ever been with a tran? No. Come on, with that hat. Okay. <laughs> okay. Go. I got this from a trans. <laughs> yeah, she was Poppy. using it as a condom. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I mean, I've come close. What do you mean? Miss her, her mouth? Dick? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've never been with like fully like, you know, I'm going to go and be. I've been around them. I've been near it. I, I love it. I think a lot of girls are sexy. I've yeah. sucked one off. I <laughs> no, no, I haven't. 
Yeah, well, no. DeRosa did it, and it like helped his career. Well, <laughs> doesn't work that way for all of us. <laughs> <laughs> He's selling more sandwiches than ever. Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever been with a trans? No. I've never been with a man or yet, yeah, no. What about a boy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what no. about an eager lad you were babysitting? <laughs> Joe never babysat. I babysit now. My yeah, baby. You, that's not babysitting. That's watching. That's your kid. <laughs> yeah, it's about taking care of. Well, it's whatever. Called fatherhood. That's, that's amazing. You're a dad. Big dad. Big old <laughs> crazy, dad. Crazy. Big dad energy. Thank you. Very happy. Yeah, I was, with a, I was with a baby today. Did you snip him? <laughs> no, that's a myth. Wait, wait, what? You what know, do you mean people think you cut a baby's dick off. You don't cut his dick off. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> What do you mean? You didn't do it? I can't believe that didn't get a laugh. Like, because it makes you guys didn't laugh, so now it feels like you think that I think the snip is cutting the baby's dick off. But did you circ it? No, no. That was our. They just they did that. No, they, they, did. they didn't even say they like, just hey, take it away. Really? When, yeah. When they just come in, we'll be right back, and they really don't ask. And then they come back and they bring you a perfect cock. Yeah. <laughs> they, they play for, a commercial. For later sucking. Wow. No, there was no, uh, the umbilical, you're talking about the umbilical cord. No, you're talking about the You're talking about no, the dick. He's talking about the umbilical cord. No, no, circumcision. Yeah. Oh, oh, I thought you were talking about, because the dad cuts the cord. Oh. Thing. That's gross. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. why it wasn't funny, because you were talking about cutting the dick off. Yeah, yeah. I thought you were talking about cutting the cord, and I was doing a gag that I thought cutting the cord is cutting the dick off. These are the type of mishaps that people... <laughs> it's like a threes company. Yeah. <laughs> we should write a show, the five of yeah. us. I think five white men could sell a show right now. <laughs> yes, that's what the industry With one wants. Mexican baby. There you go. <laughs> but no, I didn't, I didn't cut anything. I didn't do nothing. I just sat there. But did they cut his Is dick? Is your kid circumcised? Thank oh, you. That's what I we're trying like to get I don't talk about this kind of we stuff. We want to know about your kid's dick. <laughs> people are very judgmental. It's a child. Oh, he has a dick. A, you do. I got attacked. I got attacked by a lot of people when I got my kid circumcised. Really? Yeah, people get but very it's not something you think about. Look, I'm Irish Catholic from Boston. It's just something you do. And they come in. We're going to take the kid. Okay. You're so fucked up. You don't even know what's going on. I guess. And they take it and they yeah. rip shit off your kid's dick. And then hand them back to you with a red dick. You're like, uh, yeah. <laughs> what wild. do I do now? And they're like, it's okay. And then, you know, you hope for the best. Yeah, you know? yeah. You hope he likes it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, I like yours. Yeah, I you love know? yours. Yeah. I'm yeah. also clipped. Um, but I wish that I hadn't been mutilated. Why? No, I'm just kidding. Uh, Guy who makes it serious. You know, yeah. all kidding aside. <laughs> I've seen those protesters out there every now and then. Like, it's mutilation. Uh, they have red paint on the front of their yes, white pants. Those yes. guys are the fucking, what, what buzz kills. I those, know. <laughs> what is this, October 7th? <laughs> Take it easy. Those are Palestinians. Oh. Uh, <laughs> the Jew, the shirt, not okay. I, my white kid is clipped, but my Mexican, they're like, you got to make an appointment. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> so he's just sleeping bag in it like so, it's full on so when they see each other's dicks are they like hey what's going on here I mean it's like 10 years apart so they don't really look at each other's dicks yeah. it's not yeah, I'm well, not like one hey 14 really year go take one. a bath with your brother <laughs> like it's weird how old you know? is these little, little guys I got a 6 and 14 yeah, yeah you yeah. don't want the 14 year old staring at the 6 no, year old yeah, no. yeah, yeah. they hate each other it's wild well Bobby and I are 10 years apart we look at each other's dick all the time all the time I've seen his dick every time we FaceTime the camera slowly comes down. I mean, talking about serious stuff, like, yeah, man, thanks so much for helping me out. And it slowly pans down, and his cock has been hard. <laughs> sure. So hard the whole time we're on the phone. Yeah. And that's funny. Yeah. Unless you, you work for CNN. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to live in a world where having a conversation with someone on the phone and then you show them your hard dick isn't funny. Yeah. That's not. Yeah. That's gold. Yeah. Louie loves That's that That's pretty one. good. <laughs> In high school, the old wristwatch, you know? They're like, oh, what time oh, it yeah. is? You got the wristwatch on. Or you got the tumor, remember? Yeah. No. You guys remember that? It's like, oh, man, my stomach's been hurting me. I got the tumor, and it's just your friend's ball standing yes. outside of their pants. Or the, like, the bat this guy's awesome. That was a big yeah, one. Yeah. You stretch wing, it out. Satin gum. Satin gum. Monkey brains. You get someone tuck it and just do the girl thing, and that's oh, fun. Oh, yeah. yeah. Sounds limbs. Yeah. I did, yeah. That, I did that today. <laughs> Tommy I do that every time I take a shower. Me too. Uh, you ever see the video where the guy, <laughs> the guy tucks, 
The guy tucks his balls in his asshole and then farts them out. Yes. <laughs> this is one of the greatest things on the internet. Yeah, that's great. And you'll be like, ah, oh, and you'll watch it 75 times. <laughs> and you'll show it to your wife or your grandmother. Mm. It's the best video ever because he has a nice asshole. Yeah. I directed that video. I'm very proud of that. <laughs> it took him 40 takes to get it, but he finally popped him out. We celebrated. It's a big one of my bit. favorite videos. You want to see do, it? Do women ever do this? Yeah, you, got, sure. you guys are late. Do you ever, like, you're talking to your friend, and then you go, hey, time for clams, and then you... <laughs> like that. Clam sauce. No? Well, you're the only two women, so I don't know who else to ask. Women over there? Boobs? Boobs? You take your tits Stuff. out in a conversation? Sometimes, Some, all right. Like you're talking to one of your girl. Hey, Sue. Whoa. <laughs> oh, man. Wait, you got itchy tits and then they <laughs> fall out. Great dick. Good that piece. might be different. All right, ready? Here you go. All right, this is bad. Oh, oh here. God. Wait, 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 wait. I don't like that. I don't like that. It's pretty wild. I don't it looks like, like he's laying That's crazy. Eggs. That looked like soft serve ice cream for a second. Yeah. Also, the balls. guy's dick is like seven feet long. Yeah, it's a yeah. huge guy. You have a big dick and a nice ass to do this video right. Can we pull this up on the big Get screen? Get that on the projector. Yeah. <laughs> Airdrop it to the guy who owns the place. No, we can't show this. Yes, we'll you can. Shut down. It's fucking awesome. Let no. me see it, Bob. No. It's pretty good. good. Let right. me see it. Oh, come All on. All right. Jim. Okay, there's a man's hiney, yeah. a long penis. And his balls just drooped out that of it. That was yeah. really impressive. Yeah, yeah. Man. The what good timing he had. He even ran in the room with his balls tucked to yeah. keep the joke pure. I wonder how many takes that took. 74. Uh. How many fights he got in with his wife. Yeah. yeah. The craziest part is the length of his dick. I couldn't stop staring at his dick. He's got a big piece. Big hug. Yep. And yep. I never see the back of a dick that yep. often. Oh, uh, you got to live how... a little. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, got... no, please. Do you guys ever get milked like when you're in your... Uh, I love yeah. milk. That used to be my thing from uh, 95 to 2003. But you were in a... <laughs> <laughs> I was a milking king of Boston. <laughs> Wait. You were in a Let... barn, though. <laughs> <laughs> you're fat now, too. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I used to love that. The milking. Yeah, I used to have a girl that just did that. Really? Yeah, we didn't even have sex. She would just put me on all fours and milk me like a fucking baby calf. Oh, wow. <laughs> Was there a missing kid on the side of your leg? <laughs> <laughs> that would be a great tattoo. <laughs> just to surprise her one day. <laughs> yeah, I, I liked it. I remember I one time it was hot. It was one of those hot New York days we used to have before climate change. And she went, we did it, and then she went like, she really went like this to my butt. I got into my position, she went, go wash your bum, honey. Wow. Uh, Damn, now was there a milking table? Have you seen that where they get under it? Oh yeah, the massage table with the hole in it. Thank yeah. you. Yes. <laughs> sure. <laughs> no, I didn't, I didn't know they had that. Yeah. I'd ask for that for Christmas. So yeah, what yeah. are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> They're on Amazon. <laughs> yeah, it's a great place to put a cactus under. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you doing it then? How are you doing it, the milking? Well, she, I don't do it, she does it. But that's just a hand job, is it well, not? Well, it's from the back though. You pull everything oh, from the back. Yeah. Like you pull it from the back and boo da boo da boo and ba 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 and then boom. <laughs> oh man, you're a good dad. <laughs> <laughs> From the back. Yeah. I, don't, I, I don't want Any girl did that? Any girl? Raise, don't be embarrassed. Raise your hand. There's and only you, six women here. We got. Nobody oh. ever did that from behind. Someone either scratched their face or raised their hand politely, and uh, yeah. I'm staring at them, so now I feel weird. And if you Look, there's a couple guys like this. <laughs> she did it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, folks, Tuesdays with Stories is brought to you by Blue Chew. Yeah. I know. You're great in bed. If you're listening to this show, you're good in bed. No Thank questioning you. that. However, what if you could be even better? Well, that is where Blue Chew comes in, and it's a service that sends ED medicine straight to your door with the same active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis and Levitra, but at a fraction of the cost. This is the best medicine ever. Mm. I put it right in my mouth, and well, I don't know, what, 90 minutes later? 
Two less, minutes later, less. five, five minutes later, Twelve. every time I use it, I love it. This is one of the best things I've ever used. You know how much I use it. Mm. The best part is that it's all done online. No talking to a doctor or waiting at the pharmacy. Just consult one of their licensed medical providers, and once you're approved, you'll get your prescription in days. You can take the tablets any time of day, any time of day or at night, so mm. you'll always be ready to go. Blue Chew wants to help you have better sex. Discover your options at BlueChew.com. Chew it and do it. And we've got a special deal for our listeners. Try Blue Chew free when you use our promo code Tuesdays at checkout. Just pay $5 shipping. That's nothing. That's BlueChew.com promo code Tuesdays to receive your first month free. Visit BlueChew.com for more details and important safety information. And we thank Blue Chew for sponsoring the show. You got that right, Fatty. Hey, hey, folks. Tuesdays of Stories brought to you by BetterHelp. This episode is brought to you by BetterHelp. Everybody's asking you to go places and do things, but you're just tired. Before you start ignoring all your friends and hiding in your room, try online therapy with BetterHelp. Their licensed therapists are here to help you learn to set boundaries, care for yourself, and say no when you need to. You got to say no, especially you ladies. We love therapy. We got the same guy. We got to go in. You got to travel. You got to get on a train. It's a whole thing. If you can just knock it out on Zoom or a call, that's really ideal. That's the way to go. And that's what BetterHelp is great at. It couldn't be easier. Just fill out a questionnaire and BetterHelp team will match you with a licensed therapist. Everything is totally online. And you can schedule therapy sessions whenever it works for you. You can even char change therapists at any time for no additional charge. Find your social sweet spot with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash Tuesdays today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash Tuesdays. Get yourself a checkup. I always find it's hard to really spice things up when you're married because I talk about this a lot because you have to segue back into your regular life. Mm. I would never let my wife do that. What? Because I love her. I would never let her... Especially now, I'm 53. It looks like an elephant's knee pad down there. <laughs> but it's hard to be like, let's bring a guy over to fuck you in front of me the way I pray for. Because <laughs> then you have to be like, okay, take care, Glenn. Good to meet you. And then you got to go back to eating spaghetti and meatballs together. Yeah. It's yeah. just I've too done weird. That. I've done that. We did it with a male escort years ago with a girlfriend I had. And she, I wanted to see her blow a guy. So, but we got an escort so it wouldn't be somebody who got attached to her. And he came over and he had a considerably larger penis um, than I did. And, yeah. Um, she liked it a lot. Yeah. Uh, that's I, tough. I one time did that in a beach town. Uh, it was, I was on vacation. This lady was hitting on me. And then her husband comes over. And her husband's like uh, just talking. And then he leaves. And she's like, do you want to fuck me? And I was like, what about your husband? She's like, here's the deal. He's going to watch. I was like, all right. And I go over there. And I like, we start. You know, and he's just in the kitchen, like at the island, drinking a beer and like watching. I was like, this is like behind me. I was like, this guy's about to kill me. I'm yeah, like panicking. Yeah. I'm like, so I'm like slowly, like just like turn her to the side like that. <laughs> you know? Is and it Jerry Falwell? It was so fucking weird. <laughs> and then finally I finish. And also I'm scared because I got my, I didn't, I was so scared. I, I didn't take my jeans off all the way. I got the shoes on and the jeans oh, that's on. that's a bad yeah, idea. I'm, I'm so vulnerable right now, you know? And so I finish. And then I get to leave, oh. and the guy's like, on the way out, he goes, let me walk you out. And he's oh. like, thank you very much. And oh. I was like, all right. Was he Elvis? Well, that was, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it, was, it was an Elvis impersonator. Uh, By the no. way, do you know the humiliation, <laughs> the humiliation of being a cuck? And then a guy's like, it's funny, I've been the bull in that situation. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I did the they, fucking. Yeah. Is that what they call it, the bull? The bull and the cuck, yeah. What are you yeah. fucking, what are you, a rookie? <laughs> hey, I never, I never became a bull. I was always just a cow. <laughs> 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 Wait, so nice. I feel like you skipped some parts. So did he jerk off? He didn't you? do anything. He literally he first jerk of all, off. He pretty, just watches. Pretty sure he's like a MAGA hat wearing guy. He had like a camo. The whole thing was he was like an army guy. Mm. He could have kicked my ass so easily. It was terrifying. And then I'm like, ooh, equal rights. Like it was fucking. I didn't know. It was so strange. So this is uh, recently. Uh, I'm not putting a timestamp on it. Okay, but it was <laughs> it was mega times. Yeah, I mean he existed for sure. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, so yeah. this is like in the last nine years. He was a, he was polite. He was nice, and he was like thankful that I railed his wife. And wow. So Mega's pretty, not that bad. 
Yeah, I think hey, so. Yeah. You know. Did you wear a condom? Yeah, come on. Good move. <laughs> yeah. Did she come? Uh, no. Who knows? She's not, she's no not, way. She's not coming to I a don't fucking know. cuck. I did. You know what? I did get paranoid that I left the condom there. Ugh. Like, oh, I know. I, was like, I should have tied it off and put it in my pocket and left. But instead, I threw it in the trash. And then for like months later, I was like, they're probably doing shit with my cum. Like yeah. still. Yeah. Yeah. And they could accuse yeah. you of, uh, you know. He's, he sounds like a fagger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he drank it. Yeah, oh yeah. yeah. Definitely drank that. Uh, but that's what, always drinking cum out of a barrel. If you're going to drink cum, it's fresh. I don't know. What do you do, Jim? <laughs> but when um, I imagine... <laughs> When I, just, I imagine being a, a, a cuck every morning, I'm picturing myself standing and jerking off on the guy. Yeah, I think maybe, maybe he can't get... I don't know. I didn't, I didn't really, like, dig in, you know, but maybe he couldn't get hard, maybe... Uh, but he, he was all know. zipped up. He, was full, he literally was drinking a Coors Light and smoking a cigarette, yeah. and I was like, this is awesome. I've had that happen. I had that happen at the Stress Factory. Oh, wow. What happened? Yeah, after the show, this beautiful, like... She was mm. older than me at the time, but you know, like 38 or something. It was really sexy. She's like, hey, blah, 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 and she whispered in my ear, I want to blow you, but my husband's going to watch. Is that okay? I went, yeah, Green was right back there. Uh, as soon as I'm done fucking selling my CD. <laughs> <laughs> and I went in the green room, and she was there, and he just stood in the corner like, and like fucking Count Dracula in the shadows. Whoa. <laughs> I, 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 I didn't give a shit. Well, do you catch your eyes with him? Is that I, weird? I stared right at him. I was like this. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Make sure he's not reaching for something in his pocket. Oh. I made him look down like a fucking dog. He went. Whoa. It was, no, it was kind of sexy, but it, 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 I mean, she, you know, she had beautiful breasts and she really was into it. And right at the end, they're like, okay, bye. And I helped, you know, she cleaned up, blah, blah, blah. And they were just like, see you later. And I was like, bye. And then a couple years later, I had one of my fats, like I got fat again. It was uh -huh. just fucking. Ugh. And they showed, they, they showed up, and I saw them, and I was like, because when you when you get fat, you really don't know that yeah. you're fat. You just your friends talking behind your back how you fat know. you are. And I didn't know. I was like, hey guys, I'll see you after the show. And they're like, nope, bye. And they just fucking left. I was like, I'm fat. Uh, <laughs> did you sell her a CD? I didn't have a CD at then. then oh. oh, the first time I yeah. did, I gave her a CD. And then some. Yeah. I met a, I met a couple one time uh, through the, uh, I think it was the newspaper. Like years ago, you could write people through the paper. And it was a woman. She, yeah, yeah <laughs> like the, 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 the Star Ledger and all that stuff the, in New Jersey. It, the 20s? They had singles ads. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> I'm, I'm on a come on your wife's tits. <laughs> extra, extra, read all about it. Little gay man wants to suck a guy off in front of his wife. Well, she, it was only her who advertised because she said she wanted to meet a straight guy. And when I talked to her, like I sent her a picture through the mail, like the regular mail, and she's like, I'm married, but I wanted to get straight guys. Um, but my husband wants to watch. So I went to their house in North Jersey, and it was so bizarre. He looked like a little pizza maker. Like she was probably, <laughs> I was about 22, and, and, and she was about 35, and he was probably in his 60s. Whoa. And we 69, she and I, um, and she was blowing me. But then I, I looked over, and I realized he was very, very close <laughs> to my penis. So I, I think he may have been a little helper. Um, but I, I couldn't really tell if he was It'd touching my dick. funny if he was dick. doing a watercolor. No, I, I think he. I think he got a couple of little swipes oh, in. Yeah, that's oh, like I think first, so. Let me tell you. You know he. You know. I don't know. I would tell you. Believe me. Fuck. Wait. There's no way. You sit. No way. You felt two tongues on your your balls and dick. But it might have been. They might have. She might have pulled off, and he might have went on like. Oh, uh, it's it's like when you leave the dog on the bed. <laughs> <laughs> you know. You're like somebody licked my ass on, and, and it felt good. Um, I, uh, I lost my virginity to a, uh, an old bag prostitute, and uh, her husband was there for the virginity. Wow. The, the prostitute had a husband? You mean pimp? I think. They seem friendly. Yeah. <laughs> Pimps are friendlier. Did you pay, or was it? No, no charge. Wow. What? I think she had That's a thing love. for little boys. I'm <laughs> sure you just were molested. I was, <laughs> you were know, just way, molested by your aunt? I was 16. She was probably... 52. Yeah, you did get molested. That is I molested. got molested. And I That's gross. It. That's my wife's age. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
sorry. It might have been her. But uh, it can be for the right price. <laughs> Two dollars right. and fifty cents. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Bob. If we fuck your wife enough, you can buy a milking table. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, how much are they? I think they're gotta be like eighty bucks. <laughs> Less right. than Joe's shirt, that's for sure. <laughs> Two seventy. You, you've never done anything weird. Oh, come on. The Black Hookers? That's not weird. Yeah, that's not weird. You've well, never... You you've never uh, well, they just robbed us. I didn't even fuck anybody. Uh, <laughs> they just smeared their tits on my glasses and took my money. <laughs> it was like a, <laughs> like a James Bond car. They, <laughs> they fogged up your... <laughs> I've been robbed by hooker. I mean, I like to... I've eaten assholes out... Yeah, but you, right. that's not weird at all now. It's twenty. Who was he? <laughs> I don't know. Some guy. He was, he was dressed like a cow. His stick was sticking up. Did you, you ever have a threesome? No. Did you ever have no. a, <laughs> really? Did you ever have? Uh, well, we had those two old ladies that time. Oh yeah. Mark and I each had an old bag. Yeah, we broke that into was, that nurse at home. I forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it was after a show, and were they sisters or aunts? What the fuck were they? They weren't, they like weren't nuns. Aunts is older for some reason. <laughs> it, yeah. wasn't, it wasn't good. They were golden And girls. we went back to their hotel. They must have been... 50. Oh, and I also had... I fucked like a 380-pound woman What's while Tom Dustin that? fucked a grandmother in the same <laughs> bed. Oh. And she was bleeding, too. Oh! oh. And a boy, Joe, Joe, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I've told the story many times, but she also broke the tile. She was pissing while she blew me. Broke uh. the tile? Yeah, somehow a tile could break. This is an old hotel, but she was sitting on the toilet. She's like, I got to piss so bad. This Are, you sure? Are you sure you didn't fuck a baby gorilla? <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> and while she was blowing me, I, I was so fucked up, and I was like holding on the shower curtain, and then she was like, I got to piss, and it was like... It was so aggressively waterfall y, yeah. and it really. While she blew you? Yeah. Oh, do you know how much I've spent wow. on that? <laughs> uh, That's like a Blumpkin, but not quite. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Blumpkin is blowing while shitting. <laughs> you remember, you remember, it's a pumpkin. Remember the time we did the show upstate? We did the show upstate, and we're coming back, and I'm starving. Like, can I? I'm hungry, I'm hungry. And he's like, nah, I want to, you know, he drives like this. Now nah, I want to get home, I want to get home. I'm like, what? all of a sudden he sees an adult bookstore. Eh! <laughs> Middle of nowhere, cuts across the fucking highway. He goes in, <laughs> and I'm sitting there just waiting, and he comes out, fucking motherfuckers, cocksuckers, he's all mad. Remember you were mad? I remember the place, but I don't remember why I was mad. You were mad because guys, it was a gay mm. spot. You went in to jerk off in a booth, but it was a gay jerk off booth, and they just kept knocking on the door politely. Uh, yeah, the and quiet. You're like, I'm in here, and they're like, knock, 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 knock. <laughs> and you kept having to say, I'm in here, and they didn't get the hint. Well, the worst is when there's a hole in the jerk off booth, and you just see a crooked finger come through oh. and do that. I've seen that. That's a buzzkill. Yeah. And I remember we went. I di I just didn't understand that, and we were at the. You finally took me to McDonald's, and I was like, uh, Dude, would you? Like, if, if, if someone gave you a million dollars, you know you do that game, dude, would you, if somebody gave you a million dollars cash, tax-free, no one will ever know, suck off an old guy and let him come in your mouth for a million dollars. I like that it's tax-free. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now I'm in. Yeah, if Uncle Sam's got his dirty hands in there, I'm not sucking that duck. <laughs> he goes, <laughs> What are you, crazy? Of course I would. I just let a black chick shit on my chest and I paid her $500. <laughs> <laughs> what are you, Vince McMahon? <laughs> Jesus Christ. I was uh, riding around looking at uh, transgender gals one night in the meatpacking district oh. before it got really uh, expensive is where all those hookers would hang out. And there was one I just kept riding around and looking and I pulled up to her and she reached in and she took my glasses because I was wearing my glasses. <laughs> And uh, I was like, and she goes, for wasting my time, and took my glasses, and I was like, I couldn't see at all. Yeah. And uh, I saw a police car drive by, and I had to drive up, and I beeped the horn, and I flashed down the police car, and I'm like, that lady took my glasses, <laughs> so the police had to go and get this woman to give back ah, my glasses. You're like a horny Karen. And <laughs> <laughs> And, and the cop's like, you, you know that those are not chicks. I'm like, oh, I didn't know. I didn't, have my, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have my glasses on. <laughs> I, was driving, I was driving back from a shitty Jersey gig with this new kid. 
and we're sitting out in the meatpacking district. He came through the Holland Tunnel, and we're at a red light, and the kid goes, and we see these transgendered hookers coming down, and they're, they're you know, they're barely trying. <laughs> <laughs> One of them looked like Lamont from San Francisco. <laughs> <laughs> Timely. And, and he goes... <laughs> <laughs> he goes, he's like, yo, man, is it true about Jim Norton that he, is that all bullshit? Is that true? And I literally looked to my left, and at the car next to me at the light was him ah. and his little Saturn. <laughs> <laughs> it was probably the same night you I, got your glasses stolen. No, 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 that I was go, years Does that before. answer your question? I went, Norton. <laughs> <laughs> Saturn, I'm surprised you weren't driving a Uranus. <laughs> That glasses thing is, that's brutal. Oh, yeah. She reached right in and snatched them, invaded my space. It's humiliating. I remember, like, street, street prostitutes were f- exciting and fun. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Now it's, I would never do a prostitute because you got to go to their house. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. like, they're, they're in their apartment. It's like, ugh. You know too much. You see yeah, their like, dog and their couch and their wanna, DVD collection. I don't want to bump into, like, an open micer that's staying, living next door in the same house in Astoria. Right, you right. <laughs> Yeah. This is about day. me. <laughs> <laughs> I had line. Well, back in the day, <laughs> on Forty Third Street, there was just all street walk. Oh yeah. Yeah. Before the internet, they were there was girls like in g strings and high heels, just walking the streets. And as soon as you pulled up, they come up to the car, yo baby, and it was kind of exciting. Even even if you weren't gonna do it, yeah, just to talk to them and oh yeah, let them reach in and grab you. You a cop? You a cop? No, I'm not a cop. Oh, yeah. that's hot. There's a Hess station on 10th Avenue, right yeah, by that Hess yeah. station. Yeah, right over there. It was wild. Oh, yeah. I, I, I grew up in a predominantly black neighborhood, and my dad was the whitest <laughs> man on the planet, and he dressed like Joe. And uh, <laughs> so, like, black kids would be playing in the, uh, the fire hydrant spray, and he'd, he'd pull up before school and be like, excuse me, that's illegal. And I was like, oh, jeez, you know. <laughs> but there was one morning where there was a couple of hookers out in front of our house hooking, and my dad was like, you can't stand here. And they're like, fuck you, motherfucker. And they start kicking the car with the heels. I didn't know what was going on. I was like, these ladies are crazy. Later I found out, because I fucked one of them. But uh, <laughs> I didn't know they were hookers at the time. I was too, too innocent. You ever hit the hooker game? Oh. I know you got a 14-year-old and a 6-year-old that listen. But. Yeah, yeah, both of them hooker moms. Uh. <laughs> hooker moms is a new yeah, MTV yeah. show. It was a, p- a payment plan, so got to keep going. Uh, you know, I've dabbled in okay. my life. I've dabbled a little bit. I don't, you know. They're going to come back to New York, I think. No, nah, the, the street walking will probably never happen again because it's all like on apps and online. It's just it's so much well, easier. The migrants yeah, think... will need work. <laughs> <laughs> What's the new website we were talking about on the regs? Ooh, I don't know. I forget. Eros. Yeah, but the website? Yeah, the Euro. You know Euro. Eros is still up, yeah. Yeah, sure. it's still up, but it's like the high end. It's like buying a Lexus. I just want to get like a used pre owned Toyota. Yeah. Yeah. You know He's not I mean? spending over 150. That's it. 150? What is it, 87? <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> At least 200. 250. What's the going race, Jim? I haven't in literally in five years. Wow. I have not in five, I haven't oh, fucked wow. anybody else. Fucking big, Look man. At you. That's huge, dude. Sober. Yeah, I believe I have not cheated on my wife. It's amazing. Yeah, do you, Good for you. <laughs> you could have bought a house with the money you spent on prostitutes. Yeah, really? Yeah. 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 Did you buy new glasses? <laughs> <laughs> no, I went back to contacts. I was like, ah, oh, they'll never get me again. <laughs> <laughs> That'd then, be so awful. She's like, hey. <laughs> yeah, you took your contacts. They just, came, they just came in them. <laughs> <laughs> So, Andrew, did you prepare a story? Because I told Andrew, get, got, get, bring, a, bring a humdinger. A yes. fine burner. I got one. Trigger warning. It's a three sexual assaults in one night situation. You All fuck, right. You raped yep. three women? No, 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 no. Come on. <laughs> That's impressive. No, no, no. It's That's, a good one. It's, yeah. uh, I, I can't wait. Yeah. 25 years old. Go down to Mexico for the very first time. Uh, I went with a lady who was, she was my roommate at the time. She goes, let's go to Mexico. I'll pay for it all because I'm broke. I got nothing. And I was like, oh, well, this lady doesn't want anything from me. This is perfect. And we go to Mexico. Matamoros, which is a border town. Real oh, yeah. piece of shit drug town. And uh, we go down the main street, and this guy in Spanish goes, $13 all you can drink. 
Mm. And I was like, that's all I got. So that's perfect. Good right? deal. Wow. Yeah. So I go in and it's just like horchata containers, like full of booze. Like one says Jack and Coke on it, but it was definitely like gasoline. It was bad. Yeah. So it was yeah. shit. This is on the Texas side or the Mexico no, side? No, we're in Mexico. Okay. We're, we left Texas already. Uh, but we're but like we're like a mile and a half from Texas. Gotcha. You know? uh, but back then, all you needed is an ID. Now, now they care who comes over and back. But. Back then, just an ID. And uh, so we go in, we're getting hammered, we're having a great time. They have a shot bar, there's four shot glasses, and there's a guy with two fingers. Mm. It's crazy, right? It's an old man, and you go up, you're like, can I get two shots? He'd pour half Sprite, half tequila, he'd slam it down, he'd give it to you. And then, uh, and then he wouldn't wash it and give it to the next person. Like, it was disgusting. Nice. It's brutal. So the shot is half? Half tequila, half Sprite. That's just, I that don't, it was, it was $13 all you can drink. What were we expecting here? Okay, you that's know? fair. You know, so we're having a good time. I'm, I'm pretty fucking hammered at this point. And, uh, and we're dancing, and this girl comes over to me, and she's like, hey, my friend thinks you're cute. You want to dance with him? And I go, yeah, I'd love to dance with him. Were them. you dancing with just you and your friend? That's just us, just hanging out. You and a dude? No, it was a girl. Oh, Chick. sorry. Yeah, yeah. Jeez. She wasn't, she looked like you, but she was a girl. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> But uh, she we're looked like a goth Keebler elf. <laughs> <laughs> I know girls like that, and they'll blow you while pissing. Yeah, well, <laughs> we're dancing and we're having a good time. This lady comes over. She's like, you want to dance with my friend? I go, I'd love to. And then uh, a few minutes later, I'm surrounded by like 10 people, and they're like circling all around us and dancing. And I'm oh, like, God. what the hell's going on? And I realized I'm in a gay bar. It's all guys. Mm. And I was like, oh, shit. Uh, I'm cool with that. I'm okay. Like, I don't, I'm not going to make a deal of it. But then I go, uh, I got to get out of the situation. And there's a language barrier. And I don't know how to say, I don't want to suck your cock. But, uh, you know, so I just go, hey, I got to go to the bathroom. I'll be back. And I didn't realize. That's the wrong thing to do in a game. Yeah. Yeah. It's literally oh, no. the means- fucking. <laughs> The cock sucking cave. Yeah. yeah. That means. That's like somebody like, I got it. I got to go to the bathroom. <laughs> That's okay. the equivalent of ringing a dinner bell. Yeah. No. <laughs> and I didn't know, but. Uh, I got to go drop trow if you know what yeah. I mean. Yeah. I'm going to go take a poop. <laughs> <laughs> I got to get blown. <laughs> so uh, I go to the bathroom and I'm pretending to pee at the urinal, just trying to, like, I'm too drunk to really, like, how do I handle this? And two guys followed me into the stall. Ooh, you know? baby. And, uh, and then I turn around. My dick's out, because I'm not good at pretending, I guess. You're hard. <laughs> yeah. Well, one of them grabs my dick and puts it in the other guy's mouth. Nice. Right? Whoa. And then the other one grabs it, and I'm, like, fucking drunk, and I'm, like, oh, this feels awesome. Uh, <laughs> Jesus. Wow. But he I, took it and put it in the other guy's mouth. I That's didn't. He did friend. it. They were like, no, boom. Oh, yeah. Saying. They were sharing. They were That's like, uh, they were three whole... card Montying your dick. <laughs> it was, yeah. It was a whole thing. <laughs> and they're sharing. I'm like panicking. And I'm like, this feels good. But, you know, I don't, I'm too, like, I can't, you know. And so, <laughs> so I go, uh, I support you guys, but I don't really support this. So we get out of here. I love that. And then secu- I love that you're so liberal while getting raped. Oh, yeah. You're like, yeah. I'm for gay oh. marriage. I just. Oh. It's the gay assault I'm a little awkward about. Yeah, yeah. I'm a snowflake for sure. Uh, and then the security comes in, he bangs on it. He's like, hey, what are you boys doing in there? I was like, I ain't doing nothing, man. I'm doing nothing. And uh, Please black. tell me he came in and started sucking your he balls. Kicks <laughs> <laughs> and he kicks us out. And uh, I, we get kicked out of the bathroom. And I'm like, I wasn't really even doing anything. Uh, it was all them. And I get to my friend. I was like, we got to get the fuck out of here. She goes, what happened? I was like, Let's just not talk about it. <laughs> now, are you kind of like puffed up at this point? I just got the best well, pool job of my life. Uh, yeah, no, yeah. It, it was great, but I was like panicking. I was too, you know, honestly, uh, that was my 20s. If it was in my 30s, I'd be like, you guys just finished, and then we'll get out of here. Yeah, sure. Like, you know. Uh, I got to get out of here. I met Jim Norton at a bar. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. Were they, tra- they were sharing it? Yeah, oh, yeah, they were going back and forth, but, I, you know, it was too Jim much. Jim wouldn't share. No, <laughs> a guy's spit is disgusting to me. Yeah. It's, what? Really? Yeah, disgusting, a man's spit. Got pretty. That's where you draw the line? <laughs> All right. All right. No one saw that coming. I like that with a man's foot, by the way. A man has a sandal. I'd rather suck a guy's dick than his toes. Yep. I remember. I, sorry, go ahead. No, I was just. I, was, I went I to one of those support. massage parlors, and then 20 minutes in the massage, I looked down, and there was a dude's foot in women's flip flops. And I looked up, and it was just an Asian, old Asian guy, and he went, We were busy. <laughs> Is that good? 
So what happened? Did, did, did you leave the bar? All right. So I grabbed my friend. I was like, we got to get the fuck out of here. And we get out of that bar and we walk back to America. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> the smell of tequila on your yeah. cock. Oh, it's yeah. like a Simon and Garfunkel song. <laughs> and I was like, dude, you won't believe what I kind of tell her the whole story. And at this point, I'm fucking hammered. Like I'm, I'm brown. I'm not blackout, but I'm coming in and out. Right. And so we get to our days in that we're staying in. And, uh, and we got two beds. I lay in one. She lays in the other. And, uh, and I, like, kind of fall asleep, and I come to, and she's on top of me. Whoa. And then I, like, kind of fall asleep again. You got raped twice? Well, Hold on. technically three times. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but then uh, she's on top of me, right? And uh, I come to again, and she's, like, on my dick. And I'm like, oh, shit. Like, inside her? Inside. Oh. Inside. And I, I remember this moment. I remember being confused about what happened earlier. I was like, that felt pretty awesome. Uh, but then also remembering, I hate what's going on right now. So you're gay. Right? So I, <laughs> no, you're so close, because this is what I got. I look at her, and I go, I think I'm gay. Oh, sorry. Wow. Thanks for ruining that. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> I, <stepped on> that. <laughs> I just wanted to call you gay. <laughs>